Welcome back to question two of this series where I show you how to calculate delta G for the reaction given some stepwise reactions. This time the question reads, find delta G for the reaction shown underneath and use the following reactions with known delta G values to calculate delta G for this reaction. So just like before, what we want to do is model these three reactions so that they have the same coefficients as those found in this one and we can get rid of any extraneous molecules that are not found in here. Let's begin our focus with this molecule. Notice that N2O is found only in this third reaction. But unlike in the main equation, it has a coefficient of 2 and this one has a coefficient of 1. So we can divide all of this by half and that will give us N2O that has a coefficient of 1. So if I multiply everything by a factor of 1 over 2, in other words dividing everything by 2, this becomes N2O, that becomes N2, and that becomes half an oxygen molecule. Also keep in mind that we would have to divide this by 2. So I'll write down half negative 207.4. Next, NO2 is found right here. And that's the only location that it's found. Over here it's a product and over here it's a reactant. So I'm going to flip this equation around. If you flip an equation around, you change the sign. So I'll have 2NO2 yielding 2NO plus O2 and that becomes positive 71.2. What's also interesting is that this has a coefficient of 1 and this has a coefficient of 2. So I'll divide each of these coefficients by 2 signifying a half. This becomes a 1 that becomes a 1 and that becomes half. So currently our equations are this one becoming what you see in red, this one becoming what you see in green, and this one has not been manipulated at all. So N2O is in the proper location, NO2 is also in the proper location, NO is in the proper location as well. And we will now cancel out the oxygens. Notice that we have two oxygen atoms here and one oxygen atom here and one oxygen atom here. So those will cancel out. You can only cancel out reactants with products. Similarly, we have one molecule of N2 and one molecule of N2 here. They can cancel out. Now we combine everything together. So let's take a look at what hasn't been eliminated. We still have N2O. We still have NO2. And on the product side, we have one two, three, three molecules of NO. Let's see if that's the same thing as this, and it is. Now that we've confirmed that we've done this correctly, we can go ahead and find delta G. Starting over here, we have 0 0.5 times negative 207.4 plus 71.2, and remember we also divided by two here. So let's multiply this by 0 0.5, the same thing. And we didn't do anything to this one. Recall that it's the same thing. And its delta G value was 175.2. So I'll add 175 decimal 2. This gives us a delta G for this reaction that is positive. Therefore, it is not spontaneous. 107.1 is the delta G for this reaction. And given that it's positive, it is not spontaneous. And there you have it. Another example on how to calculate delta G for a stepwise reaction.